Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and one of Richard Stolk's um, Sudoku variant series. He's up to number three. Well, this one is number 375. I think he's past that now, but uh, Richard sets a new puzzle every week with a new rule set. And he's kind of challenged himself to keep it going as long as he can. And my goodness, this guy can keep going. And they're always excellent. Uh, this one I'm told, is harder than normal, which is, I suppose, exciting, but I always like Richard's puzzles. And uh, he's a great guy to do because he has contributed to our new Domino Sudoku app and indeed to other of our apps. And uh, a good opportunity then to mention that it is available on the platforms. You can check the um, site links under the video along with all the links to our other older apps and to uh, the Discord server and the Patreon site where we are always providing extra content. We love it when you support the channel in any way, even with comments. Um, and we'd love it if you'd give this puzzle a go because it's always brilliant. So this originally appeared on Logic Masters Germany um, and the rule set is quite simple as with so many of these puzzles. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, box and column. Digits along a thermometer increase in value from the bulb to the end. However, there's an extra kicker here, which is presumably why there aren't very many thermometers and they're all very short. Digits in a thermometer are either all even or all odd. Now, that's unusual. I've never seen this before, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go and going to start now. Let's get cracking. I mean, how, how do we get cracking? If I knew this one was even, I suppose I would know, being the only four cell thermometer on the page, it's a two, four, six, eight. Ooh. Sorry, pardon me. Um, do I know that that's even or do I know that it's not? Ah, oh, here's a thought. If that was even, what would that do? I think box four gets interesting either way, whether this is even or odd. Ah, oh, no, if it's even. Oh, lovely. Look, it can't be even. Yes, I can see it. I can see this. I'm just going to show you what would happen if it was even, because I can see that it can't be. It's, it's actually incredibly pretty. If that was even, it would look like that, and we would know the order of the digits on it. They would go two, four, six, eight. Now, where would two go in the box? Well, it can't go here anymore. It would have to be on a bulb. But two on a bulb would need another even digit above it, which would have to be four, six, or eight. But both of those cells see all of four, six, or eight. So that's impossible. That is beautiful, actually. What a, what a gorgeous start to a puzzle. So that's odd, which is less helpful, but less surprising also. So this, I think, must have one, well, two possibilities on each cell. It, I mean, it could go, well, as long as, obviously it has to increase. Okay, I don't know quite why I'm stuttering over saying that, but it has to be. Now, again, this digit is not on this thermo. So it is in one of these bulbs. Right, so one of the bulbs is double odd, is, is, is fully odd. And that is going to add up to four odd cells, whichever, it, whichever one it is. So the other of these bulbs cannot also be odd because that would be six odd cells in box four. And we are only allowed five. We will have exactly five, but we're only allowed five. So one of these each is odd and the other is even. The odd one has that digit on, is all I know. Um, the even one begins with two, four or six. OK, I don't know what to do next. Right, but I do know the count of these digits. There are two evens and one odd here. So in total in this column now, we've got two odds and two evens. And that does tell us 
the identity of this all odd or all even thermometer. It can't be even or there'd be three there, two here, that's five evens, so that's too many. So this one is odd as well. Now I think there are two degrees of freedom as we count up in odd numbers up there. Um, there's going to be an odd number here. So that's going to use up all the odd numbers for the column. These two at the top are even. That's on the same thermo, so that's also even. I, have, I mean, there is no harm in me pencil marking even a two-cell thermo when, it, when I know it's either even, all even or all odd. Now, where next? Because this is really interesting now, I think. These could be odd, although that would make this the one. Then that would have to be 3759. I think that's okay. They can be odd. There's not a problem with that. Uh, so maybe I won't look at that one, but I don't know what else. Right, well, Maybe I should concentrate on the ones that change boxes because they somehow do a bit more work, weirdly. They see lots of cells together. So what's going on with this thermometer? If it was odd, this would have to be one, three or five. These would be... F oh, yeah, that's lovely. It's not just that these would be from 3579 three, forming a quadruple, which they would be. So let me show you again. If this was odd... Oh, no, look, the lovely way of looking at this is those five cells. They all see each other. Believe me, they do. These three are in the same box. These two see those in the row and that one on the thermo. Remember, all cells on a thermo have to be different because they increase. And therefore, all of these five cells see each other. So they all have to be different. And they can't all be different if this is odd. And that's because none of these can be a one. That's brilliant. So that is not odd. It's even. And then we can put two or four, four or six, six or eight. So my hunch about cells crossing box borders was quite handy there. Um, what about this one then? A three cell thermo. Suddenly three cells seems like a longish thermo in the context of this puzzle. Now, this feels very unlikely to be even to me, but that is just a hunch at the moment. If it was even, this would be the two in the box. So that would be four or six. I think this is impossible. If that was two, this would be a four, six pair, and that would be eight. But again, all of those cells, yeah, it's the same deal. It's absolutely brilliant. All these five cells see each other. Four in the box, and that sees that those two in the row and those two on the thermo. So we can't have five even numbers that are all different, so those are odd. That's so brilliant. It's absolutely remarkable, actually. One, three, or five there. Three, five, or seven. Five, seven, or nine. The, the, the pencil marking hasn't really paid off yet, but I still feel that it, it might well soon. It's actually thinking about the shapes that's working better at the moment. I suppose knowing that one couldn't be in a non-bulb helped, but that's kind of trivial thermo knowledge. Now, if those were odd, well, whether they're odd or even, they make up the full complement of odd or even. So those two are the same. Those two are the same. What about this? Is this seeing... Now, it could be a one, couldn't it? Oh, it's seeing a lot of odd digits, though. It's seeing, it's seeing all of these... I mean, they don't all have to be different from each other. Or do they? No, they, they don't. Oh, it 
feel this is where the pressure is on this digit. And if I know if that's odd or even, then I know the identity of this thermo. This is brilliant. Um, I don't think I do. I love how this works though, it's so clever. Right, um, everything else, oh, I've got these two, three cells, but everything else is just two. Um, this box can only have one more even. So it's got four odds in it. So there's four odds in that thing I've just highlighted. There are four in that group. Well, obviously there are only two here. So if they were odd, all of these are even. That's gonna use up all the even digits for column two. I don't think it really fixes anything though. So, ah, now, whichever one of these is an odd thermo, its tail, its tip, is 3, 5, 7, or 9. And that's in a group of 3, 5, 7, or 9 that all see each other. And they all see that cell. Ah, it doesn't quite do anything. I thought I was really making breakthroughs with this stuff, but I ran out of these diagonal thermos. Maybe I should use these somehow. If this was even. If this was even, that would be a four, six, eight triple. In fact, that would be a 4-6 pair. That would be 8. This would be a 2-4 pair. Hmm, it is possible, but it's not simple. Okay, I need to find something different. It's... It's such a clever puzzle though. It's so entertaining how Richard comes up with these variations and they just have these features that make you think in a totally different way. I don't know if that's in the idea for the rule set or in the execution entirely. Probably, probably a rather brilliant combination of both from the Sudoku professor. Um, right, I'm not finding anything useful here, am I? So. What to do next? I think I've got to keep thinking about box five. I don't see how I can really make progress without getting some kind of a grasp on it. So frustrating. Too even here. How about this then? If that's a if this is odd, then we've got another three five seven nine quad that I could postulate. I don't think it does anything though. Um They're so tiddly, these ones. What good are they? Silly, tiny thermos. Right, if this is odd, there's a lot of pressure on them. If this is odd, the one is here. So that becomes a three, five, seven, nine. So we've got a one here. We must have a seven in the row, in the column. So this would go three, five, seven, nine. Oh, this, uh, that doesn't work. This can't be a three. Got it. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, 
I was going to say, because if you put a three on the bulb here, then you need five, seven, or nine there, but these are five, seven, and nine if that's a three. But you don't have to put three on the bulb. You could put three in those cells and one down below it. I might be reaching the conclusion suddenly that this is definitely even, but I need to think that one through as well. Oh, it would be really helpful if it was, actually. Right, for this to be odd, it is seeing... Oh, the trouble is it could be... Well, it sees all of those... It sees all of these cells. But they can contain repeats. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it does mean something impossible for this to be odd. Maybe it is about these. So that digit has to appear on these thermos. If it's a... Oh, this is interesting. If it's a one, it's got to be on a bulb there. If it's a three, it can't be on a bulb there because of 579 appearing there. In that case, the thermo here that is odd has to begin with a 1. Because if it's a 1, there is a 1 on the bulb. And if it's a 3, there's a 3 on the tip, not the bulb. Wow. So there's definitely a 1 in one of those two cells. And that means this isn't a 1, and this isn't a 3, and this isn't a five and that doesn't get me a pair or a triple like I was thinking it was about to. One in this box now can't be there and it can't be there. So this is a one. It is odd. I was spending a lot of time trying to prove it wasn't. Suddenly it is. It's a one somewhere here which is absolutely useless information. Um, now this is odd. So these are even because we need two of them. That's odd. And it's not one, obviously, but I mean, that's not interesting. Um, this is a two. This is where two goes in the box. This is four, six, or eight. The one of these that is even is a four or a six. And its tail, its uh, tip, is a six or an eight. But I don't know what the odd digit on the tail is, actually. So I'm not going to pencil mark that. Oh, that's really interesting. Right. So one of these bulbs is a one. Does that mean anything? I don't think so. This is not a one. So if this was odd, these are at least five. That would be a five, seven, nine triple. And that would be a five, seven, nine triple. And that would be one, three, which would kill that cell. Pow. That is brilliant. I mean, I'm pleased with myself, let alone with how brilliant Richard's been. If that was a one, sorry, this is a one. If this was odd, if this whole thermo was odd, which I'm about to show it can't be, which I've just shown it can't be, that would be at least a three. This would be a five, seven, nine triple. That would be one, three, and that would break. So this is even instead, which is unsurprising, but it's nice to prove it. Two or four, four or six, six or eight on the tip. That's a lot less powerful in terms of resolving these and the rest of the cells in the cage and so on. But, ah, no, this is nice. These, I could have told you before, I haven't see, seen it. These two thermos can't be the same. No, all, all I could have said about them is they can't both be even, but that's suddenly become incredibly helpful. The reason they can't be even is there are only four even numbers. And since eight couldn't be any of these because there's always a, a tip that has to be higher, they're not both even. So that's odd. This is one, three, five, three, five or seven, five, seven or nine. And look, there's a three, five, seven triple. So that's a nine. 
I was going to say it's our first odd number in the grid. That's not quite true. It's the first one on a thermo, though. So this isn't 9. That's not 7. That's not 5. So now we've got a 1-3 pair. This is 5. That's 7. Ooh, nine's the digit in here somewhere. Along with two even numbers that I don't know the identity of. Um... One of these is a nine, that's not helpful much. No, it is, look, this is seeing a nine, three, five, seven quad. So it can't be odd, because it's the second digit on its thermo. So that's even, I think that's the same here. Yes, that's even as well. Oh, well, these are getting, and this can't be two, bingo. In fact, it's the fourth even in its column. Let's do a bit of coloring fun. So those are all odd. We've got three even here. Okay, let's do the Sudoku again. Six or eight there. Two, four or six here. Four, six or eight here. So we've got a four, six, eight triple. Uh, in fact, we've got all sorts of four, six, eight triples. Either that's a two, which is going to push that up and that up and make that a four. Or that's a two, which is going to make that a four. Oh, I don't know, but we'll find out which is which. I'm feeling that we've made some quite dramatic progress just now. Look, five oranges in this box, so the rest is blue. And that's four blues in this column, so that's orange. This one is a two because it's got a four, six, eight in the column. That's what I was just saying. So that's a four. This thermo's done, four, six, eight. Now we're going to have to place a two and a four in this box. That can't be a six. So if it's even, it's a four, and it can't be a four because that, right, this can't be even anymore. If that was a four, this would need to be a six or an eight. So that is not even. That is the odd one. This is the even thermo, which does not start with one, whereas, in fact, the odd one does. Three, five, seven, or nine there. And I think this is a quadruple of different digits. Yes. I mean, it doesn't massively help but it's always good to know that's six or eight this is six it sees two four and eight that's eight this is a clever puzzle i'm really really getting lost in admiration here um five, seven, one, three. one of these is a nine so that's not nine uh and this is a quadruple this sees all of those, so that's a nine. That's lovely. Nine there. Um, maybe it tells me something else immediately, but I can't see what. Ah, oh, now this... No, I was going to say that's not blue, but somehow I'm imagining a thermo going up here that isn't actually in the grid. Never imagine false thermos. Um, so let's look at the rows again. Now, if that was even, it would be two, four. It's possible. I can't believe I'm stuck again. I thought this was going absolutely perfectly now. But it's a, such a clever puzzle. Right, five. Five is looking across at these cells. So it could go one, three. That's a three, five, seven triple. This is a one up here. I hadn't noticed that before. One and five are involved in these cells. So these are from three, seven, and nine at the top. I don't think that sort of work is going to get me very far, but anyway. nine is in one of those two which means this is even i don't again i'm not sure that helps but it can't it sees all the odd digits if you count that one three pair that's a four six eight triple isn't it so the only other even digit in column two is a two 
But we also need a four in column three somewhere. Oh, one of these is eight. Look, eight, eight. That can't be eight because you can't put a higher even number on there. But this can still be even. Two, four is still possible. That didn't fix that. Um, Two. It's such a strange puzzle the way that some cells keep looking at other cells. One of those is an eight. That doesn't help. One of those is an eight. This. This is struggling to be even, isn't it? If that was even. Two, four, or six here. Four, six, or eight here. That would put a two here. That cannot be a two. That's intriguing. I hadn't noticed this before, but two in this box has to be in one of these two cells. So that's not two, and that's not four. Now I've got a four, six, eight triple. So where's two in this row? suppose one of those two. Now, what was I proving over here? It was something to do with this. Yes, this can't be an even thermo because it can't have two on the end. Right. So that's odd. Three, five, or seven to five, seven, or nine. Interesting. Four, six, eight, triple. Is that doing anything else? I'm feeling that one of these has to be a two, but I don't have any actual... Yes, I do have some proof of that. One of those has to be a four in column six, so therefore one of these does have to be a two. That can still be a two, and that can... St oh, look, there's a six-eight pair there now, so that's a four. <sighs> Just nothing, of course. Yes, it does. It puts a four here. So that's blue. So there's a two somewhere here. Those two are orange. Um, it doesn't do a lot. This can still be orange. Oh, I suspect it isn't. But it can be at the moment. Eight, four, six, nine, two, five's in one of those cells. Oh, there's a oh, look at that. Nine in this row. Obviously can't be there. Takes a while, doesn't it? Well, it takes me a while. So that is blue, and that's blue because they're the same. That's a two at the beginning, it's a four at the end. Now, this would have to be six, eight if it was blue. That would make this 6-4 with 2 there. That would make that 4. That's close to breaking down, but it doesn't quite do so. 6 is in one of those cells. So these are orange. This one is deducible. That's orange as well. So this is blue and is 2. Um, that is a one or a three. We've got a one, three pair in the row. Those are from five, seven, nine. Seven is one of those two in the row. So that's five, in fact. Seven, nine pair there. This is not five or seven. It's one or three. It's the same as that. One, nine, one, four, four, two, nine. Got the six eight pair. These are from one three five seven. Nine's up here somewhere. Neither of those are two because one of those is. So one of these is definitely a two in this row, and those are both orange. That's four oranges. Um May, I, th I think, I can't decide whether I think this is less likely to be orange or blue. 
That's a bit strange. Um, certainly the right hand side seems to be where we have to finish. There are so few markings over there. Um, three, five. So one of these is a seven. Doesn't seem like it's going to be useful, but you never know. It does mean also that one of these is a seven. Again, I don't see how to use it. I suppose I should have known that's a triple, so that's obvious. Um, I am enjoying this puzzle. This is so clever. Two, eight, four, seven, nine. These are from one, three, five, six. Doesn't do anything, does it? It's got to be about this now, and this is going to finish everything off. And I just need to work out which is less likely. Which am I disproving? Right. I think I've got something. So if this was even, I think it's going to break. If that was a six, then we get an eight here. So this becomes a six four pair. Oh, maybe it doesn't break. I thought it was going to break on these having to both be sixes. So if that is even, this is eight, that becomes eight, this becomes six, that becomes eight, and that becomes eight. Yeah, it still doesn't work. That's quite weird. Hang on. If that's an eight, that's eight in box five. That's eight in column two. That's eight in column six. And there's nowhere for eight in row two. That's unbelievably difficult to see. I mean, it, it's... I got there, I got there without highlighting, and you can prove it by highlighting the cells. But suddenly none of those can be eight anymore because of the eight that we're postulating here. Wow, but anyway, that proves that this is not even, that's odd. These are even to make the count right. Um, this row needs two more evens. The nine must be here in the odd cell, not here in the even cell. Right, come on, let's do this now. Let's just do it. These are odd. So that's one, three, five, or seven. This is three, five, seven, or nine. That's totally unhelpful pencil marking. Um, two, three, four, three. I don't know. It doesn't help finishing coloring entirely, does it? One of those is even. One of those is even, one of these is even. It really doesn't. Okay, it's got to help with the numbers then. Three, five, seven, or nine. This is two, four, or six. This is two, six, or eight. I don't see how that helps. This is six or eight. Does that help anything? And this, ah, yes, this is not eight. So this is the eight in box three. This is a two, four, six triple. The only even one here is a six. Eight has to be, right, the eight is ruled out of those cells by Sudoku now. So it has to be here. That means this is not eight. And that's not six, and this is eight, and there's a two four pair, so that's six. This is not six. Um, this is six in the column. That's not a six. This is not a six. This is a two eight pair in the column. That's either four or six. That forms a pair. Oh, I've got four blues in this. Row, numpty. Okay, so that is a two. Four here, six, eight, four. 
8 and 2. This is a 4. Now all the even numbers are coming. Now it becomes finally a bit like a trio Sudoku or just an odd even with a lot of clues. Uh, there is a 2 there and there is a 2 here. So I kind of get stuck there. Ah, oh, 2 in this row has to be here. That's handy. That's blue. 6 and 8. 8 is here. 6 must be... Yes, yeah, 6 must now be here and the last six is now here so every cell I haven't colored down here is orange those don't involve a six so I've done all my twos fours sixes and eights apart from a pair of twos that have to go in these white cells so now I can move my attention over to the odd numbers presumably um, seven, nine pair. One of these is a five. That's not interesting. One of those is a one. Is that interesting? It doesn't feel it. Wow, it must be to do with thermos. And I, it's hard to believe that I've got enough information on the thermos to disambiguate this. Uh, I know that one of those is a seven. I know that one of these is a nine. Nine in this row then. I can do that because it can't be here because one of those two is a nine, so it has to be there. That's interesting. Um, this is three, five, or seven, which is much less interesting. Have I really got enough to deal with this? Nine, ah, oh, then one of these is a nine. So that's not a nine, and the nine in this box is there. One of those is a one, obviously. Nine, one of these two is a nine. of these is a one that's not oh there's a seven nine pair there which I haven't seen it doesn't feel like it does a lot but you never know one, six three five seven nine now whichever one of these is a one does one of them have to be a one Yes, one of these two has to be a three. So one of these has to be a one. So this is not a one. That's a three, five, seven, triple. That is incredible. One there, three there, one here, not one here, therefore not three here. I mean, it's fascinating how much that does in a way, in a hurry. Even just those. I mean, I know it didn't finish anything else off, but weird. Um, now, nearly got a five, seven, nine, triple or something going here. That's one, three, five or seven. One of these is a nine. Nine, six, one, eight, four, two, three, five, seven. Definitely not finished here. So weird. Um, and again, it just feels like there isn't enough information, but it's Richard Stolk, so there obviously is. That is three, five, or seven by the row. One of those is a seven. It's going to be one of these sort of, they all see something again, isn't it? How is this going to work, though? It's it to do with those. has to be a five in one of those two for this column. So that's not a five. I don't think that does anything. Um, if that's a five, that's a three, and that's a five. If that's a five, that's a seven. Yeah, 
three five here. Oh look. No, I thought I had a three five seven nine quad. I do not. I have two possible places for nine. Two there. Two in row one, two in column eight. Feels like nine is the most constrained digit, and I still have three to place and no idea how to place them. Suppose whichever of these is not a nine is moving this digit down a bit to not a seven. So in one case, this is five or three. Oh, one of these has to be a three in this box, so that's not a three. But that means three is in one of these two cells in box six, and that's not a three. Oh my goodness, and so now that is a three in box four. That's a five, seven pair. So this is a two, three pair. Cross parity. Um, that's a five, seven pair now. So this is a one, three pair. Nine must be in one of these two cells in the row. That's, I mean, you know, it's progress and it doesn't finish anything. <laughs> Two, three, five, as I might as well pencil mark these ridiculous last few cells. One, three pair, seven, nine pair in the column. That's a five. Neither of these is a five. And in fact, nor is this. So now that's a three, seven pair, and that's a nine. This is one at the top. Good thing I didn't bother pencil marking it. That's not a one now. Doesn't finish ones, does it? Nine, that can't be a nine. Nine in this box is now here. That feels like the least useful place. Okay, that fixes seven and nine down here. That doesn't help again. I've got a five, seven pair, a three, seven pair. Ah, no, that is not a possible seven anymore because that can't be nine. So three there, seven there. This is gonna finish it, I feel. Five, seven, one, three, it's so clever. This puzzle is brilliant. I mean, serious genius warning here. Um, that's become a three. That fixes all of box five. Seven there, and now it's just these few white cells left. How did we get left with white cells in this puzzle? Two and three. Two, three and five, yes, three, and I'm gonna put a five here. Once I have colored these orange and blue, then I can put a five in and finish the puzzle. And with some delight, that's, that's a fascinating puzzle. I mean, there are some brilliant bits of breaking and a really tough conclusion. Well done, Richard, that is, epic work again i'm not surprised we got that recommended not by you but by a lover of your work anyway thank you so much as always for following us on the channel hope to see you again tomorrow for more sudoku bye for now